Hi guys, my name is TV. <clears throat> In this tutorial I will present how to install and configure the Real 3D CoverFlow WordPress plugin. <clears throat> this CoverFlow it's, uh, it's a WordPress plugin allows to display multimedia content in a CoverFlow style. Sorry about this. It has a lot of uh, tons of features. It can be dragged, used the scroll bar, buttons, or a lot of parameters can be modified. So you can uh, customize the positioning and appearance as you like. You can see here all of this stuff. And there is much more than this. These are just some live previews that uh, settings that we have added here in the page. So it can um, display images like here and each image can have associated uh, an action for for example you can set it to open the light box and by the way this cover flow it's using revolution light box which is a, a multimedia light box so this one will open an, Im an image in the light box it has support for uh, links when you, when you click, you click a thumbnail a link will open iframe Google Maps, this is Google Maps, Flash, um, Audio, Vimeo, YouTube, Video, it's a full multimedia cover flow. It can also display HTML content, as you can see here. <coughs> This is actually HTML content. It's not. Um, they are not thumbnails. These are uh, are links here. You can see like they are hovering. Also, it has support for multiple categories, transparent images. It has a lot of uh, of cool features. So make sure you see all the the examples and uh, play with the. Uh, with it because it's really nice everything it's optional you what I mean by that the dragging the mouse wheel the buttons um, the text the border the colors everything is optional it can be customized customizable so this way it will fit in any project so this is a sh short description of the of the, the real 3D cover flow board. there is much more um, it's a really complex project and at the same time it's very simplistic so yeah another cool option is to you can actually set how many thumbnails to show here you don't have to stretch it on the entire screen so another useful one you can hide the reflection and so so much more so in wordpress there is also so yes when you after you download the file from uh, envato you will receive this this uh, zip file which inside of it it's a help folder that um, it contains a help file that you can find here some useful information the link to the video tutorial which is also found in the page here what they are here it is and uh, how to use the API for developers so yeah that is the the help screen the help file sorry and um, the other file is the actual plugin which is this one so this is the plugin that you want to install in WordPress so in WordPress I'll leave this open for now <coughs> there are uh, also there are three skins modern silver modern warm and uh, minimal classic I will, I will show you I will show this in the in the demo here, you will see what I mean by that. 
okay so to add the plugin just add new upload plugin choose the file and install I have a really slow internet connection so this will take some time but the file is really small at the moment just to see how small it is right now only 1.32 megabytes so it's really small file almost done yeah slow slow internet the plugin is installed activate plugin and here it is on the left there are three tabs general settings uh, which in turn has other uh, tabs here um, here there are presets predefined presets for each skin skin modern silver skin modern warm and skin uh, classic skin this is why i showed you before this one so this is the classic the modern and uh, the first one the modern warm and modern silver so they are predefined here you don't have to modify anything you just you can use use it as it is and you will get something like like here for example sorry but if you want to change some settings well, there is an extra preset here i'll delete it because it's, it's i've i've added it before this video tutorial so like i've said for example you want to create a, you have you want to have this file this preset and you want to modify some settings like the spacing between thumbnails or remove the scroll bar or I don't know something here you have to create a new preset you can do this by adding here the name my preset and click the add new preset <clears throat> so it's it's here and now you can modify a lot of the settings here uh, like I've said, this is uh, has some other tab tabs and um, for example here you can change the display type, uh, auto scale, the cover flow width, the general settings. The thumbnail settings is for the uh, for the thumbnail. For example, the border, the text that appears here, um, the reflection, the spacing between thumbnails can change all, all of this stuff here if again this is pretty fine you don't have to the control settings it's um, related to the scroll bar and next and previous buttons and uh, the slideshow button the combo box setting is related to this here drop down the select option the lightbox settings it's for the lightbox when a thumbnail is clicked again you can have an inactive thumbnail for example when you click a thumbnail nothing will happen but this is the lightbox like the border color remove out buttons changing spacing and other other stuff yes and navigation bullets it's for if you want to have navigation bullets bullets this here this is for changing the colors also these buttons can be added and removed or removed so this is the the general settings the playlist manager allows to cre create playlists for the the for the cover flow and um, inside the playlist you can have as many categories what as you as you want what I mean by playlist, this is a playlist and inside it there are three categories. Each category contains a collection of thumbnails. So, for example, here it's a, we have a playlist with, with three categories. So, let's return to the first one. 
and inside the category can add the uh, thumbnails <laughs> I've already created a playlist to save time so like I've said here um, there are these types of uh, multimedia content that can be displayed to add an image when a thumbnail is clicked to open an image just add a name for now I'll just I'll just go through all the the settings here and then I will explain for each type. So to add a thumbnail, just click the add new thumbnail, add the name, thumbnail pad, this is the the thumb the uh, image that will appear in the thumbnail here. You can add it from the library or with an um, absolute or relative URL. The lightbox source is the path of the of what will happen when the thumbnail is clicked. For example, I want to open the an image, this one, when the thumbnail is clicked. Video poster path it's optional only and it's used only if you have as a lightbox source an MP4 file. And um, you can add a poster if you want if you want to add the poster. Item maximum width and item maximum height is used to override the default width and height of um, of the lightbox item, with the exception of images. Images will use their actual actual um, original image, original width and height. So, for example, if you want to have um, the video player width of 800 pixel per 600 pixel, you can do this here for this uh, thumbnail and for the other thumbnail you can add um, I don't know 1000 pixel this also applies to iframe flash google vimeo youtube and video so yeah this is here for uh, and it's optional <laughs> thumbnail text it's what appears here when you hover the thumbnail this is also optional these are some offsets used to position the text to push it up or down or it's useful to arrange the text to look visually better they, there are some tooltips here to explain what they done what they do and uh, this is the lightbox info text when the thumbnail is clicked and you click the and the info block button is clicked this is the, the text here this can be moved upward, doesn't have to be down. Okay. So after you add all this stuff, this is optional, the lightbox info text, this is optional. Just add thumbnail. I forgot the name. And here it is. This playlist is sortable, so you can move the order as you want. But for now I'll delete this because there is no need for it. So yeah, to add an image, just add the um, <coughs> for the lightbox for all types. The thumbnail pad is the same. Just add the thumbnail pad here. But to open an image in a lightbox, add here the the lightbox image uh, pad. To add um, a video, you just have to add here as the lightbox source the MP4 pad. To add a video, the MP3 pad. To add YouTube, the YouTube pad. To add Vimeo, the Vimeo pad. Should I've seen here something weird? This is not supposed to be here. Let's see now. Uh, as a link, this is how it's a bit different. Let's say you want to open a page. This is what I mean by link. When you click a thumbnail, a new web page will open. So, to add a link, just before the the URL path, just add link two points, then uh, the URL, the link, the actual link, and then with a question mark you can add the target blank or self. 
<coughs> for Google Maps, just start the Google Map address here as a Lightbox source. For iframe, just add the website URL. And for Flash, Adobe Flash, add the Adobe Flash path. Again, this now I don't know why this is. It probably I've I've test I made some something. Update playlist, and everything is there. So yeah, this is how you you create um you create add thumbnails in a category. And for example, you want to add the new category here. You just get call it test. Category two. This is also sortable, so we can switch them. You can see here, and here we will add just the thumbnail, an image, and we will select um, this one. And as a light box source, this one. Add the thumbnail, actually I'll add another one, image, image, two, uh, we'll, so we'll, uh, we'll add a video, to make more sense, video, and as a source we'll choose the an mp4 file, okay, I will leave this as it is, of the playlist okay so now we have a playlist we have a preset a CSS editor it's uh, used to add classes for um, that can be used in the for the thumbnails or lightbox for example there's a class here there's a class here large label if we go to playlist manager and we choose a thumbnail here you can see in the html that it's actually using that class large label and small label to format the text that appear inside the thumbnail so keep this in mind that it's there so okay so if you can add another time or other class here there will rem re um, rename some of the classes doesn't have to have the those names so yeah, after we have this you can go to pages to the, the cover for can be added in a page or a post so, I've already done some tests here. So what you have to do, go to Visual tab, select the text editor and on the right you can see the short code generator. You can select the preset and the image playlist that we have created and add short code and it's here. Update. And now preview changes. you can see in the carousel the so I'm, I'm sorry the cover flow it's here so right now it's in uh, all of those all of those thumbnails that you have added so this will open youtube this is the second category that we created that has only two thumbnails the image and the video you can see the video player is starting and um, the image it's opening doesn't have any okay so for example let's say we, we want to remove the the scroll bar just go to general settings my preset and uh, on the control settings 
we'll remove uh, only the scroll bar. No, it's a bit more. This is just an example to see how to use the tab, this tab. Now if we refresh, the scroll bar is gone, only the this next and previous buttons it's it's added so not to f i don't want to forget this for example you want to set the thumbnail to have no action when it's clicked we'll choose the this one as a thumbnail li lightbox will just set it to none this applies to uh, to all to all types on the playlist Now if we go to the first thumbnail, the image, and click, you can see nothing, nothing happens. So this, now right now it's in um, um, fluid width display, which will cover the entire width of the screen. So this also, this is the last thing that I will show here. There are a lot of settings which you will have to discover for yourself. You can just set it to fixed and uh, sorry, not this one to fixed and okay. And now it will be part of the the WordPress the page or sort of scene in there. So keep in mind that this is there. Okay, another thing that I want to show you it's how to add HTML content. So in the playlist manager, we will create another playlist HTML content and we set the type to HTML content. Add playlist here, we'll add another category and inside. Here it's a bit different, you don't have all that, the other stuff, just have a name, this is for content one. And here is the HTML content to add, what I mean by that, you can add the p tag with exa example text. And here you can also use the classes added in the CSS editor. You can set up as a lightbook source to open something or leave it to none. This is the same stuff as with the video, poster, pet, item, maximum weight and height, and optional lightbox info. So we'll just add the thumbnail, update playlist, and where is the page? <coughs> All pages. And now, instead of this, we will select our preset and HTML content. So we'll add the show code. And now if we preview it, we should have a single thumbnail. Uh, here is the inside you can see the text. Of course, this has to be customized. The thumbnail background can be changed here. The text can be formatted and you can add images or whatever, but it's just an example to show you how to to add um, um, <coughs> HTML content. I will just leave it for the image playlist. Okay. Another thing that I wanted to show is the API. This is for developers. <laughs> In the help file you will see all the methods and um, event listeners that are available. And here there is a you just you can just copy and paste this code as reference to see how to use it. This will make sense to any developer. So we'll add it here. I don't think it's right. Okay, I think you in the HTML, yes. Add it here. I don't know why this is red. 
but I don't think it matters. Yeah. So this is easy to understand for a developer. It's registering the API using a set interval. Uh, there is a log when the API is ready. And there is a time change log, log when uh, that is bound to an event from the Coverflow. And it's also uh, logging the console the event ID, which is the thumbnail ID. And there is a function that when this button is clicked, it will uh, go to the next thumbnail actually here. We can have to add this here. Back update. And now if we preview the changes and open the console, you can see here Royal Coverflow Royal 3D Coverflow API ready. And uh, when you click this button, mm, this is weird. What is this? Oh sorry, I forgot to call the function. Today I'll update. And now it should work. It goes to the next thumbnails and also there is that log from the, the event sent from the cover flow. So <clears throat> yeah, this is a, this is a short introduction about how to use it. Of course, there are a lot of settings here in general settings and it's really customizable, but I don't want to complicate things, just keep in mind that everything is predefined, you can just use it and if you want to change something you, you know that it's here in the general settings. So yeah, if you have any question please contact me at the email from this, from the help files and I hope you, you like this, this project. So yeah, thank you for watching.